Now with BBC One's nine o'clock news, John Humphreys. Wanted for attacking a small boy, police have new evidence. Cutting back 17,000 rail jobs, but not much track. Freed the supergrass relatives held by Irish terrorists. Revenge, five die because a truck driver's refused a drink. And the anger of Alicia, the hurricane that's battering Texas. Good evening. There's been an important new development in the hunt for the men who sexually assaulted a six-year-old boy. Our biggest break so far, say the police. They've had vital evidence from a new witness, and they've been able to issue detailed descriptions of three men they want to question. They're all thought to come from the south of England. 500 people have phoned police with information, and money is still coming in to pay for a reward, more than £33,000 so far. Now a special fund has been set up for donations. Nicholas Witchell reporting. The little boy was standing outside this tobacconist shop when the three men drew up in a dark-coloured car and went in to buy cigarettes, a packet of 20 John Player Special. This is the photo fit of the man who bought the cigarettes. He was about 30, nearly six foot tall, heavily built, with a large paunch and long straight hair. He had a mark like a boil somewhere on his face. The second man was younger and smaller, about 25 and 5 foot 10, with shorter, brown hair and metal framed spectacles. The third man was about six foot, aged 20 to 25, with very blonde hair, which was short and tidy. His appearance was smart. Gifts for the young victim are continuing to arrive at Brighton's main police station, cuddly toys and small cash donations. The offers of reward money have also grown. There's now more than £31,000 pledged. Police say it's got rather out of hand. Their concern is to draw the young boy out of his shell, a task given to a young WPC. Well, the, my role is to, uh, to take the child's confidence, um, to get to know him and uh, to try and ascertain from him as much as he can tell us about what happened to him that night. Presumably he's nervous of uh, men at this time. Yes, yes. I've, I've seen him walk away from men and closing on his mum when there have been any men about whilst we've been talking to him. Detectives in the main incident room have already had offers of help from the South Coast gay community. They say they're keen to receive more. If they feel reticent to come forward because they feel they're different uh, and they're not comfortable about coming to a police station and, and talking to me, then uh, get in touch through an intermediary and uh, make a place where they feel comfortable. If they've got something relevant to say, then we'll go anywhere to talk to them. Tonight, detectives here are confident. They feel the descriptions they've given are good and must, they believe, be recognisable. British Rail wants to cut its workforce by another 17,000 over the next five years. Its plan will also mean fewer trains will be running. The outgoing chairman...